Hi friends, here is Aicha from Aicha Pay Academy, Bangalore. In the last video, we have seen like you know expo how to expose like you know uh, web services uh, to Blue Pigeon. In this video, we are going to see like you know how to access web services in Blue Pigeon. And moreover, so in order to allow access to Blue Prism like web services, so we need to follow like you know, certain things. The first one is So by default, the Blue Prism Web Services available in the port. one eight one for TCP means like so means transmission control protocol And the next one is security permissions.
okay now it's like a you know, web services uh, description language called like you know wsdl there is web services description language or we can say like a definition so is an xml based interface definition language that is used for describing the functionality offered by a web service right so moreover it's like a third party application See the path of the web services so HTTP colon machine name and the port So WS. Okay, right. For this machine, what and for this one, we'll select what is machine name. The machine name is available here. Go to like you know start. Give a right right mouse uh, you know right mouse to come command okay, my computer. Go to properties. So here is my name. My computer name is like Aditya. And the port number is eight one eight one. So WS. So now I am opening browser. So I am typing like a system name is capture. 
colon now you can see like a web services uh, hyphen processes none and web services hyphen business objects none because so far so i have not yet any exposed to any processes or business objects once i exposed in blue prism and will appear here Okay, in the next video, we are going to select, like, we will create like a you know, few business objects and as well as like, processes and we will publish, like, you know, we will expose to like web services. Please stay with us. If you really like this video, you please subscribe it and please refer to your friends. Thank you.